Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install a dedicated Valheim server on Linux. Are you ready? Let's go. If you are watching this video, you already know how good this game is. I discovered it on the launch day on Steam in early access and I can't stop playing it. This game is just insane. You can play it as a solo player or you can play it with friends. What I notice is like when you are playing with friends, only one player is actually hosting the server. Which means that if this player want to go offline, the rest of the friends, they are getting like, not kicked, but they just can play the game on the world they were actually in. And that's, that's an issue. A while ago, I was playing another game with a bunch of friends. And the solution we found for this problem was to actually like move the, the save, the world save, from one player to another when the host of the server was actually getting offline. Now, the good thing is that this game comes with a lot of like different options and installing a dedicated server on Linux is actually a super reliable one right now. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Valheim dedicated server on Linux step by step. But before we jump into it from a technical standpoint, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Ermax and I'm a full-time streamer. I stream from Monday to Friday on twitch.tv slash a1rm4x. If you want to talk about this tutorial or join the rest of our community and have some fun together, you are more than welcome. All right, so now we are done with the introduction. Let's jump right into it. So the requirements from the server standpoint are super simple. You need a server local or on internet, you know, like a VPS with a fresh Debian install. In this tutorial, I'm going to be only focusing on the Linux Debian OS. Nothing else. Second thing is like you need some minimum hardware. I made some tests and I noticed that you need at least like two cores and two gigabytes of RAM to run the server. For example, if you order like a VPS with one core, it will just not work. Like you will be able to install everything, but the application won't start. So my recommendation will be like two core and four gigabytes of RAM. Like that, you have some space in terms of RAM. And if you want to run something else on the server, why not? So I created a file. I'm going to put a link in the description below. You just have to copy everything. You don't need to have a PhD in IT. You don't need to do all the work. Everything is done just for you. Okay. One of the reasons I did that is like I couldn't find like uh, a tutorial uh, for Linux. And I like to know what I put on my machine. So here it's everything is super clear and you will have access to it all the time. So let's jump into it. Here, the file. And on the other side, it's a little software to connect to the terminal. I guess you already know what it is. Putty, I'm going to put also a link in the file. So I'm connecting to the server address. Here it's local. But if you have a VPS, you're going to have to put your own address there. Boom. So I'm logging in. Yeah, you better know your password if you want to connect. So first things first, we're going to make sure it's up to date. So again, you just copy and paste. I want you to show you like step by step how, how to do that. Uh, nothing crazy here. You just copy and paste the comment. I'm going to explain real quick what I'm doing, but nothing crazy, guys. So I make sure like everything is up to date. It's fresh, so there is obviously some update. What I'm going to do during the video is like, depending on how long it takes, I'm just going to fast forward it when there is some download going on or some computation. Okay, so now I'm going to make a directory where I would like to install the server file. It's going to be in slash opt slash team slash valheim. 
you need to install like a library which are required for Steam command to, to start. Steam command is a, is a software which, which is actually going to download the server file on your own server. I'm going to add a user named Steam. Uh, the idea behind that is like you want to make sure that the server is not running like through the root user. That's why we created this, this user like for security reason. Okay, user has been added. Now I'm logging in as the Steam user. I'm going to the home directory of Steam. Okay, yeah, that's the one. So now I'm in it. I'm going to download the Steam command directly from the Valve server. Okay, we downloaded it. Now I'm going to extract the file. It's here. So we're going to update it. And make sure like it download like everything, all the requirements for us to be install installing the server. This this might this might take some time, all right. Okay, done. Now I'm gonna look back as root. Up, I'm root. There is a trick. I'm going to make sure that the, the directory I want to install the server in has the correct like uh, user permission. So let's check. Okay, we are good. Steam and Steam. Now I'm going to log back as a Steam user. Here. Make sure I'm in the home directory. Okay, I'm here. So you can see like all the files have been downloaded previously. And now this is an important command. I'm going to download using the application the server. Okay, the Valheim server. So what it means, it, it means that, okay, I'm using the application we just downloaded from Valve. I'm going to log in at, as Anonymous. I'm going to force the install directory as slash opt slash team slash slash Valheim. Uh, I install the, the application I actually need. That adds the server application number. I validate it and then I exit. This, this might take some time. Okay, success. Well, now we are good. I'm going back as root. Okay, here. And what we're going to do, we're going to install a service. Okay. And the idea behind that is like, I want to simplify your life to manage the server itself, like the Valheim dedicated server. So by using a service, there is two things to take in consideration. When you start like your server, like the big server, which is going to be hosting the Valheim, Valheim uh, server itself. Uh, this service is going to start right away and it's going to make sure the Valheim server is always on. The second thing is like, I had it like a, a special line here called exec start pre, which is going to update the server each time you restart the Valheim dedicated server. So sometimes, you know, the, like the developing team, they are going to update the game. And once they update the game, you have to update the server too. And the, this is going to be like a really simple way to update your server. Like that, you don't have to do any of this thing anymore. You just log in, you restart the server, like the Valheim server, and through the process, it's going to update itself. Okay? So here we're going to uh, create the service. Hop. You just have to copy and pass that. Um... There is nothing important here, which means like this is the name of the service here. Uh, the user we're going to use, the environment path, nothing crazy. And here, like, you have the command I was talking about. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go full screen here, like that you see. 
the command I was talking about, which is like updating before starting the server. And then here, this is the most important one. This is the command for starting the server itself. Here, you're going to be able to define the name of your server. So we're going to call this one Airmax Paradise. Okay. Don't touch the port. Just, just keep this one. Uh, an important thing is like if you want your server to be accessible outside your home network, if, if you are hosting the server at home, you need to make sure that the port like 2456 to 2458 are open, like the port range. Otherwise, your friends they won't be able con they won't be able to connect to your place. So I I won't include that in the tutorial. There is a lot of tutorial which explain like how to open port on a machine and and transfer it. Like there is ton of them. I I won't be doing that here. Okay. So but just make sure it's open. So here you you're gonna ca call like the the name of your world. So I'm gonna call it like I don't know world. Mm, no, I'm gonna call it paradise. Okay. You can you can name whatever you want, but it's it's a good good point because depending on the name, you know, if I want if you want to create another service and host, for example, like multiple like multiple dedicated like Valheim server, you can do it and choose different name. And this is the password. So you define the password required to access the server. So we're gonna Call it password one, two, three, four, five. Okay. You save. So if you are not used to nano, to save, you have to press the key like control on your keyboard plus O. Okay. Then you press enter and then control plus X, X and you're out. Okay. So now you, you created the service itself. You go back there. You're going to enable the service. That's, that's, that's command do. You're going to reload the, the daemon related to the service. Like that, it's up to date in Linux. And then you're going to start it. Okay. So the first start is a little bit long because it's creating the world, right? And boom, after that, we should be good to go. Here, important. I put the command to actually like restart the server and update it. So you just have to log in and type this one. And if you want to stop the server, you type this, you type this one. So stop actually will be stop. Okay. <laughs> That's better. Okay. Simple as that. So now let's go into Steam and connect to our own server. I'm going to show you how to connect. So we're going to connect locally first. You go there. You go on your like Steam page. All right. View. And you go on server. Okay. This is your favorite. So you have internet here and then you have favorite. So you go on favorite. You click on add server. So here you had your local IP address. Okay, and on the port, you remember we put 2456 on the port. But here I notice that you need to put 2457, otherwise it won't work. Okay, so just to, to show you, if I put 2456, it's not going to find anything. If I put 27, boom, on my server. So I add it to the favorite. So now it's in my list. I refresh a little bit. I notice that if you don't do that, you won't work for whatever reason. And then you connect. Hop, oh, it's asking for the password. You type your password. Boom. It's going to start the game, okay? Okay. Well, that's my personage, Le Rock. Press start. Normally, you should push us there. I think he has a password another time. Yeah, okay. You see, he ask a password, so... You type your password again. And we're going to be right in the middle of the new world. Our world. 
my paradise. There we go. On your own server. So this is to connect locally. So the idea behind that is like, if you want your friend, your family, play on your own server at home, you can do that. But let's say now you want to play with, with your friend from internet, right? Not locally, but on internet. And you want to find your server. You go on start game. Choose your character again. And then you do join game. And you type the name in the filter. You type the name of your server. I think I put Air Max in it, if I remember correctly. It was Air Max Paradise. So you wait because the server list, I think it's going to grow bigger and bigger. Like it's going to be huge. Uh, today they announced they sold like 1 million copies of the game. So this list is going to continue to grow. Normally the server should be in it. And voila! There is the server. So then it's simple. If the port are open, you can directly go from there. Connect. It's gonna ask for a pass. And you're gonna get into, into the game right away. Simple as that. So now you know. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please give it the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, like the, the whole thing. I really count on you. And I see you on my Twitch channel. Have a great one and enjoy your own server. Take care.